La Solidaridad, the Solidarity, was an organization created in Spain on December 13, 1888. Composed of Filipino liberals exiled in 1872 and students attending Europe. S. Universities, the organization aimed to increase Spanish awareness of the needs of its colony, the Philippines, and to propagate a closer relationship between the Philippines and Spain, headed by José Rizal's cousin, Galicano Apasibal. It also issued a newspaper of the same name which was published in Barcelona, Spain on February 15, 1889. It was edited by Graciano López Jaina and later on by Marcelo H. del Pilar. The Social, Cultural, and Economic Conditions of the Colonial Philippines was published in La Solidaridad. Speeches of the Spanish Liberals about the Philippines was also featured in the newspaper. Members Dr. José Rizal, Leon Lon and Damasalang Marcelo H. del Pilar, Plaridel Graciano López Jaina, Diego Laura Antonio Luna, Taga Ilog, Mariano Ponce, Tikbaling, Calipulaco, Nanning, Jose Maria Panganaban, Joe Mapa, Dominator Gomez, Ramiro Franco. Other members Pedro High, Antonio Maria, Isabello de los. Eduardo de Jose Juan Miguel Moran Felix Hidalgo Pedro Serrano International members Professor Ferdinand Blumentritt, Austrian ethnologist Dr. Miguel Moreta Sagrario, Spanish historian, university professor and statesman. Note, some friends of the propaganda movement also contributed. Trivia Leon Lon, Jose Rizal's pen name, used as the same name of a railway station. Graciano López Jaina was the founder of La Solidaridad. Pepe is the first pen name that Rizal used and he also used this for his artwork. Sa Aking Mga Kabata History La Solidaridad was established to express the goal of the propaganda movement towards achieving assimilation with Spain. The first issue of La Solidaridad came out on February 15, 1889. A fortnightly and a bi-weekly newspaper, La Solidaridad serves as the principal organ of the reform movement in Spain. Comite de Propaganda in the Philippines funded the publication of the La Solidaridad. The editorship for the newspaper was first offered to Rizal. However, he refused because during that time he was annotating Antonio de Morgas Sacisos de las Islas Filipinas in London. After Rizal, Graciano López Jaina was offered for the editorship of La Solidaridad and he accepted. On April 25, 1889, La Solidaridad published the letter entitled, The Aspirations of the Filipinos, which was written by the Asociación Hispano Filipina de Madrid, English, Hispanic Filipino Association of Madrid. It pursued desires for representation in the Cortes. Abolition of censure An expressed and definite prohibition of the existing practices of exiling residents by purely administrative order, and without a writ of execution from the courts of justice. On December 15, 1889, Marcelo H. del Pilar replaced Graciano López Jaina as the editor of La Solidaridad. Under his editorship, the aims of the newspaper expanded. His articles caught the attention of Spanish leaders and ministers. Using propaganda, it pursued desires for that the Philippines be a province of Spain representation Filipino priests instead of Spanish friars Augustinians, Dominicans, and Franciscans in parishes and remote sitios freedom of assembly and speech 
equal rights before the law for both Filipino and Spanish plaintiffs. After years of publication from 1889 to 1895, funding of the La Solidaridad became scarce. Comite de Propaganda S. contribution to the newspaper stopped and Del Pilar funded the newspaper almost on his own. Penalis in Spain, Del Pilar stopped the publication of La Solidaridad on November 15, 1895, with seven volumes and 160 issues. In Del Pilar's farewell editorial, he said. Notable contributors Several writers contributed to La Solidaridad over its six years of existence, like Antonio Luna, Anastasia Carpio, Mariano Ponce, Antonio M. Regidor, José María Panganaban, Isabelo de los Reyes, Eduardo de Leite, José Alejandrino, and Pedro Paterno. One of the most prolific contributors though was Rizal's confidant Ferdinand Blumentritt, whose impassioned defense of the Filipino interests was said to have been inspirational to the other writers and the readers of the newspaper alike. See also Philippine literature in Spanish Philippine Revolution Notes References Constantino, Renato. A Past Revisited. Quezon City, Tala Publications, 1975. Zaid, Sonia M. and Gregorio F. Zaid. The Philippines, A Unique Nation. Manila, All Nations Publishing, 1999. Zaid, Gregorio F. Philippine History and Government. National Bookstore Printing Press, 1984. External links La Solidaridad at the MSC Institute of Technology the Philippine Revolution, La Solidaridad.